We're doing lesson 13. Watermelon. <laughs> Did it work? Did it, it work? work? Do you say watermelon before you sneeze? It, it, well, he says it, and then it just, just doesn't. That's, I've heard that. I've heard that. You can also say watermelon if you're singing in choir and you forget the words, and you can lip sync. And it looks like you're actually singing. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, all right. Lesson 13, we're going to talk about equal groups. So tell me what operation of math you think this is. If there are 10 students, I haven't even asked a question yet. You're that good. You can read my mind. Or are you going to ask another question? Yeah, I was going to try, I guess. Okay, what do, what do you think the answer is? It's something. Okay, that could be. So um, let's say there are 10 students in each class and there are five classrooms in this wing. How many students are there? Wait, wait, wait. Where are you wait, saying wait, the problem? Yeah. Oh, there's uh, multiplication. Multiplication, yeah. 10 yeah. students in each class. There's five yeah. classrooms, 10 times five. So you're multiplying. Yeah. But and e that's an equal group problem. The, e the group in this case is the class, right? So equal groups, you just multiply that number in the group times the number of groups to get the total. Now, it could say there are 70 students in this wing. If there are 10 students in each class, how many classrooms are there? Seven. There's seven, right? So you, that is a division problem. So equal group problems aren't just multiplication problems. They could be division problems as well, okay? Um, now you will see this formula. So number of groups, number of groups times number in one group or group equals your total. So um, you could have a scenario where they give you this total. Like if we were going on a field trip and 30 students fit in each bus, how many buses would we have to take if we have 123 students? Um, so how would you figure that out? 123 students, each bus fits 30 students. How many buses do we have to take, Grace? Five. Yes, unfortunately. Because 120, 123 divided by, what is it, 40 or 30? 30 in each bus. So this is the total, right? And this is the number in group. So now we want to find the number of groups. So how many buses do we have to take? So we take four, but then we have three students left over. Three students. Can't they just squeeze in on the bus and one bus can have like 33 instead of 30? They could be on the floor. Yeah, so that we would get fired as a school. We, the school would be fired. I, I, I don't think that's possible, but so if there's any remainder. Oh, wait, no, I have a good idea. The what? extra three students can just drive the bus. Oh, yeah. Because so the, there's one real driver, there's only one. You drive the bus number one, and the other three You could have a student with a license. You know, maybe they're retaking seventh grade. They could ride on the top of the bus. They could also illegal. I don't know where you're from, but that's illegal. Okay, so unfortunately, you need five buses. So this a question like this will show up on a test or your homework somewhere. So you can't say, oh, we need um, four remainder three buses. Okay, or you can't say, oh, we need four point. Uh, what is that? Four point. Uh, one four point one buses. No, you can't say four point one buses. Okay, it's either four buses or five buses, and unfortunately, now you can spread them out. It doesn't have to be three students on the bus, even though that would be a fun bus ride, wouldn't it? A short bus? Yeah. We don't talk about the short bus. 
No, so each bus, and this, you know, there's always a hypothetical, well, what if you did this? No, these are the rules of the math problem. Each bus holds 30 students, no more than 30, or else you're going to jail, okay? Don't do it. So these are equal group problems. You guys feel good about equal group problems? Okay. Black math! Give me some math and I'll give you some flack! Black math!